Welcome back to the Crypto Ball channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, while Bitcoin is still playing out this short-term bullish relief, basically repeating history, we have less than 24 hours to go until new inflation numbers are released, which could heavily affect the markets in the short term, while new liquidation levels are building here in the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, while Ethereum is still repeating history in the short term. So I'll be talking about all of that and more later in the video, so definitely watch to the end. First of all, just before getting into the Bitcoin charts today, we need to take a look at some news today because in less than 24 hours from now, in just a matter of hours from now, we have new inflation numbers being released, the new CPI inflation rate. And so we're talking about the United States inflation rate here. And this information, by the way, comes out at exactly 12.30 p.m. in the GMT time zone. So you can use that to basically work out for your time what that actually will be. But it comes out essentially on the 14th of of August at 12.30 p.m. GMT. And as usual, I will be sharing the information basically as soon as it gets released over on my Twitter in real time. So if you want real time updates throughout the day, check out my Twitter down below this video linked in the description and in the pinned comment. But getting into what we should be expecting for these new inflation numbers that are getting released very soon, as of right now, the majority in the market is expecting for CPI inflation to come in at 2.9% year over year. And the trading economics forecast is forecasting 3%, so 3.0%, just 3% flat year over year for CPI inflation. But once again, the majority is expecting 2.9%. And so in case you're new to all of this, what this actually means for the crypto market is essentially if the new inflation numbers that are getting released at 12.30 p.m. GMT, once again, coming very soon, if those new inflation numbers get released and they come in at exactly 2.9% year over year inflation for the CPI, then that would be relatively neutral for the markets because everyone is already expecting that outcome and already pricing that outcome into the market beforehand. But if we see anything other than that 2.9% expected outcome, that is where we could see a lot more volatility. And basically, the further we see the new number, the further that is away from that 2.9% expected result, the further away we get from that expectation, the more volatility we'll likely see in the markets in the short term. And so, for example, if we only see 2.8% or 3% flat, then basically we wouldn't really see probably a lot of volatility, maybe a slight move in the short term. But just for example, if we saw something like 2.5% or 3.4%, something like that, then that could really move the markets in the short term. And when it comes to a bullish or bearish move, all you really need to know is basically if the number comes in below the expected outcome. So if we get less than 2.9%, that is considered bullish. If we get over the expected outcome, so if inflation comes in at 3% or above, that is considered bearish. And once again, 2.9% is neutral. And once again, the further away from the expected outcome, the more volatility we'll likely see. So for example, if we only see 2.8%, we could see a very slight little bullish move, but nothing too major. Or 3%, we might see a very slight little drop, but nothing too major. But on the other hand, if we end up seeing something like 2.4%, then we'll likely see a major pump in the short term for the price of Bitcoin and crypto. Or on the other hand, if we see something like 3.5%, we'd likely see a major dump, at least just in the short term for the crypto market. And so basically just be prepared for some volatility potentially coming over the next one day or so in the crypto market surrounding this event right here, which once again, I will be covering in real time over on my Twitter, link down below this video. But with that being said, taking a look at the Bitcoin charts today and right now here in the four day time frame, honestly, this chart has not changed over the last one day. So if you're new to the channel and you want to know more about this chart right here, then check out my last video here on the channel. And the exact same thing can be said about this chart right here on the two day time frame, because over the last one day, it has not really changed all that much. This support level is sitting right where it was yesterday and same with this resistance level. And if we're taking a look at this daily Bitcoin chart right now, as of right now, the daily Bitcoin RSI is sitting right at around neutral levels, right at around 50. So in the middle of the RSI, and it has obviously already reset from those oversold territories that we saw roughly around a week ago. And so we also don't really have a lot of new information here in the daily Bitcoin RSI to pay attention to. So if we're taking a look at this daily Bitcoin chart right now, as of right now, at the time of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is very close to breaking back above around 61,000. 
And so if we can actually push above 61,000 and actually hold that area, 60 to 61,000 as new support again, then of course, just in the short term, that would be a bit of a bullish signal, but we still have some strong resistance at around 63,000 approximately and significant resistance in between 67 to 68.3K. And I would also be expecting a little bit of resistance at around 64 and a half thousand approximately based on this traded volume right here in the volume profile indicator. And as for short term support, we should find a little bit of support at around $60,000. But below that, we have more support at around 57 and a half thousand. And below that, much more support in between around 56 to 57,000. And if we're looking at the short term, looking at the four hour time frame here and comparing the current day price action to what we saw back in March 2020, once again, as I've been saying basically every day since all the way back down here, we're seeing extremely similar price action right now to what we saw back here. Basically a bullish relief after all of this bearish price action. And we're actually seeing a lot more similarities than just that. For example, we formed basically a slightly higher low back here, just like what we saw just here. And then more of a bullish relief came next and then a bit of a short term pullback in both of these scenarios. And then next we saw a little bit of a bounce and then some sideways price action. Right now we've seen basically a bit of both some sideways and a bounce here in the price of Bitcoin, very similar to what we saw back here. And so if history continues to repeat, which so far is doing a pretty good job at doing that, basically we should be expecting perhaps a slight little bullish relief continuing in the short term. But honestly, we're most likely going to see relatively neutral price action, nothing too major. But remember, we cannot forget about those inflation numbers coming in over the next day. And so even though based on this chart right here, I do expect a slight little bullish relief, but mostly sideways price action, something like that, for example, of course, if we see some crazy inflation numbers, that can change the situation. We could see a major volatile move based on those inflation numbers. So just remember that. And if you want to trade these moves in the price of Bitcoin or any other crypto, personally, I take just about all of those trades over on Bybit. So I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit down below this video in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you use that link down below this video to make a Bybit account and deposit on that account, then you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video. And also if you use that link, it'll take you to this page right here, which is a massive lucky draw happening right now over on Bybit where you could potentially win up to $100,000 or some free Bitcoin or Ethereum or USDT just by trading crypto using the link down below this video. And so if you're going to be trading crypto anyway, you might as well check this out. Once again, first link down below this video. But for whatever reason, if you cannot access Bybit or if you cannot KYC on Bybit, there is also Bitflex, which is another crypto exchange similar to Bybit, but you don't need to KYC for Bitflex. And so I'll also make sure to leave a link to Bitflex down below this video as an alternative crypto exchange. And with that being said, taking a quick look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. And right now we have some more liquidity that has just started to build to the upside, sitting at around 62.1K approximately. And so just keep that in mind, we do have that liquidity right there, which is a likely price target for the price just in the short term, especially if we get some bullish inflation numbers that could likely take out that liquidity. And other than that level at around 62.1K, we do have a little bit more liquidity just above 63,000, but that's more of an area and not so much a specific level. And we do have some liquidity at around 57,500 and a little bit more at around 56,500, but not as much as what we have at around 62.1K. And so I would only expect the price to really take out that lower liquidity rather than taking out that upside liquidity if we get bearish inflation numbers. I would only really expect that outcome in the short term, once again, if we get bearish inflation numbers, so much higher than expected. But if we get relatively neutral inflation numbers or especially bullish inflation numbers, so lower than expected, then it will likely take out this liquidity at around 62.1K sometime soon. And with that being said, if we're taking a look at Ethereum on the weekly time frame over the last one day, not a lot has changed on this chart right here. So zooming straight into the three day time frame, we're still seeing this bounce from the golden pocket area of support in between around 2150 to 2.2K. And we also have support at around two and a half thousand, especially based on these candle closes right here and this retracement level. And as for short term resistance, we are right now just about to run into some critical resistance right here sitting at 
around 2.8K. So keep that in mind. That is an important level on the chart based on previous resistance and significant support back here, once again, at around 2.8K. And so I would not be surprised if just in the short term, we do see a bit of struggle around that area. But if we can actually see a confirmed breakout back above 2.8K, at least in the short term for the next couple of days following that breakout, that would be a bullish signal to pay attention to just in the short term here. But once again, if we're looking at the trend on the three-day time frame, at least for now, even if we see a little bit more of a bullish relief here, at least for now, we're still technically forming lower highs and lower lows, which is what a bearish trend is. But remember, a bearish trend can contain the occasional pump to the upside or bullish relief during a bearish trend. And if we're zooming into the short term, looking at the four hour time frame, once again, right now, the price of ETH is basically repeating history, seeing very similar price action right now to what we saw back here, back at the bottom of the March 2020 crash because essentially what we saw back then, we saw basically a double bottom in the price, first of all, after the major crash to the downside, and then a bullish relief basically over the next couple of days after the higher low formed in the price, and then a lot of choppy sideways price action over the next week or so followed after we saw that bullish relief. And so we can see in the current day right here, we've seen very similar price action so far. The crash to the downside, a double bottom with a slightly higher low, a bullish relief, and basically a lot of choppy sideways price action over the last few days. And so if history continues to repeat like what it has been doing so far, then we're likely going to continue to play out a bit of a sideways consolidation here for a little longer, maybe over the next few days as the most likely outcome. But once again, we cannot forget about those inflation numbers. Of course, if we see some crazy inflation numbers far away from the expected outcome, that could change the situation in the short term. That could create a lot more volatility. So keep that in mind as well. And if we're taking a quick look at the price of Solana on the daily time frame, right now the price of Solana is once again retesting this area of support in between around 140 to 144. So at least for now, that is the support to pay attention to for the price of Solana. But if we see a break below around 140, then in that case, we have significant support in this price range in between around 120 to 128. And as for resistance for the price of Solana, we do have some decent resistance in between around 159 to 162 approximately and above that we have more resistance in between 170 to 175 and in between 183 to 187. And as for the trend right now in the price of Solana, honestly, on the daily time frame, we're basically in a neutral trend in a sideways price range here, chopping around sideways with relatively horizontal highs and horizontal lows. So we're not really in a massive bullish or bearish trend, at least for now, for the price of Solana here on the daily time frame. But obviously, during a neutral trend, while well, the price chops around sideways, of course, that is comprised of both bullish and bearish movements in the shorter term. So keep that in mind. And if you want to actually trade those moves in the price of any crypto, once again, check out those links down below this video to claim those extra bonuses. And if you want to actually know how to trade crypto, no matter if the price is bullish, bearish, or chopping around sideways like Solana is right now, then make sure to watch these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how you can profit from bullish or bearish price action using long positions or short positions. And the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that is everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.